Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Sunny Avi, and I am back to do another celebrity reading. Um, I asked the angels a while back, well, not really a while back, but like a week or so ago, who should I do a reading on? And I kept hearing Mary J. Blige. So, yeah, I just looked up her date of birth, and she's actually a Capricorn, which is cool, because for some reason, I kind of thought she may be a Cancer, but I really wasn't trying to guess, but that was just my rushed guess. Um, maybe she has cancer somewhere in her chart. Um, and the things that I talk about, if it has already happened, I will say um, that I knew about it. But if I don't know, then I don't know. And it already happened, then great. Um, I don't really know much about Mary J. Blige. I do like her music. Um, my favorite song by her is You Are My Everything. <laughs> um, I grew up listening to her because of my mom. Um, I know that she's from New York. Um, my mom has a friend that went to school with her. So I know that's kind of like, girl, we don't give a fuck. But I just have to tell y'all what I know about her. Um, oh, goodness. I know that she went through a divorce with um, her manager or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's really all I know about Mary J. Blush. Um, within the next seven months maybe seven years, I do see her going through a breakout uh, in regards to like a health issue, whether um, she has like a breakout on her skin, like a rash or something, or she breaks one of her legs um, or like her knee gives out. There's something about within the number seven, maybe this is uh, seven as in like July, but the number seven uh, is connected to a breakout is what I'm hearing. Um, I do see her coming out with another album sometime in the fall. I'm not sure if she, um, has any other music, but I do see her coming back. And I feel like she's in a place where she's known for, like, breakup songs and, like, you know, I hate to say it, like, her sad stuff. Like, she's known for that. But I feel like her energy is different. Like, she doesn't want... I feel like people were expecting for her to make a, a sad album about her ex-husband or, like, about her situation. And I feel like, you know, she has, you know... She has been wanting to vent about that with her music. But I feel like she just wants to be known in a different light. Um, So I feel like... Either, like sometime within the fall of her either announcing a new album or new songs um and maybe this has already happened okay but i feel like her stuff is going to be like not really clubby but just like a higher vibration i also see her um hiring different obviously she's going to hire a different manager but <laughs> i see her in the position of wanting n a new company for some reason i'm seeing this card the knight of wands as like going elsewhere reaching out to different franchises um i do for some reason i feel like she's she's stuck on the past Maybe she's trying to figure out where things went wrong. And maybe not even with her previous marriage, but just like with herself. I feel like there's a part of her that feels as if she has lost herself. And she's trying to make sense of an alibi. She's trying to make sense of a promise. And I just feel like and the energy that she's in right now is just like she's still hurting and she's still bruised up but once again sometime in the fall time either it's this year or years from now um i just see her music sounding different and i see her uh, going on like i see her in an interview where it's like the background is like a pink mauvey type of color and I see her saying, I'm I'm back. I, I want a different I wanted a different sound. Um I want I wanna sound like you know more more happier and upbeat is what she's saying. Um while I was talking, I kept hearing the word radiation. So I'm not sure if her or someone in her family will have to do radiation. 
Um, and I also heard mother. I'm not sure if it's, you know, her actual mother. I don't know if her mother is alive or not. Um, if this is a grandmother, um, an auntie, um, maybe, you know, someone who she was close to. But I feel like there's something in regards to radiation. And I feel like she wants to be there for this person. This is someone who's very, very close to her. Um... <sighs> I do see her getting married again. Either within nine years or 19 years. And I see her ring being... I see her ring will be bigger than the one that she had before. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Alright, let's see what else Financially, she is going through some trouble right now. Um, she she does have to pay her ex husband. I rem I remember that um, that her ex husband wanted money from her, and she does have to pay it. And I feel like I feel like it's it's still going on, and it's and I feel like she will go back to court to um make it to where she does not have to pay so much or does not have to pay for it at all. I do see it I do see the courts working in her favor. Something about around Easter time. I see her going back to court. Whether it's next year, three years from now, whatever the case may be, I see her going back to court about this or it will be in the headlines around Easter, like April time, of her taking her husband back to court or suing her husband or whatever the case would be. Um, the cards are kind of confirming what I said. Right now, she's in a place of just trying to figure everything out. She is she is kind of hopeless. I hate to say it like that. Like, you know, yes, on, when she does her concert, she's dancing and, you know, she, she seems happy. But it's like deep down inside and like when she goes home and like the people that really know her, like she's really broken. And I feel like the issue that she went through with her marriage, like going through the divorce and like just finding out that he did all this, like it really opened up her eyes. And I feel like, yes, she was sad about the things that happened, but I feel like she was more sad at the fact that she really lost herself, that she really lost control. Like, I feel like, um, Mary, don't get me wrong, she's headstrong and she is bold, but I feel like she is a big sucker. Like, when she really cares about you, she'll do a lot for you. And I feel like, even in the back of her mind, she knows that it's, it's gonna, she's gonna have to pay a price. Like, she doesn't care at the moment. Like, she just wants to make sure that you're good. Like, she really, really, she has a big heart. And she wears her heart on her sleeve, even if she's been broken many times. She has hope and faith that people will not do her dirty, even if someone else has done her dirty. Like, she comes into a situation just with open arms. Um, and I feel like she's going to be different now. Like, that for some reason, this has been a lesson for her. I'm not sure if she was married before, but I keep picking, or like, if this is like her like her second serious relationship or like the second relationship that she really cared about or was public about. But I keep picking up like second time is the charmer for some reasons when I'm picking up with her situation. But, um, but yeah, but once again, like I see her after this period of self realization and the soaking and like having a little pity party, I see her bouncing back. Um, I see her moving forward again and I see her being more, protective of herself i feel like her next mate um with her next mate she will not let him in on her money i hate to say it like that but like i don't see like her next mate being her manager or like just dealing with her businesses i feel like the next man that comes into her life I feel like he's going to be laid back and quiet. And I see him not even wanting to 
deal with her stuff. Like, even if he has the qualifications to manage her or produce her, like, I feel like he's going to be like, no, like, that's your thing. You know, you, I don't, I don't want to mix business and pleasure. Like, that's the type of mindset that he has. Um, I feel like he's, like, he's brown skin. His eyes are dark. Um, he is, he, he's either bald or he has a receding hairline. He's not that tall. He's kind of plumped in size. He looks kind of like, um, goodness, what is that freaking singer? <sighs> he sings, he saw the best in me. That's what he looks like. He looks kind of like him, but just a, a more nice looking <laughs> version. I hate to say it like that. Um, and I feel like, um, I feel like he may be a Sagittarius or he has a lot of Sag within his chart, maybe even Aries, but I, for, but for some reason I see him having like a mixture of water and fire within his chart. And I feel like this man, he's, he's going to already have money. Like, I feel like he's not going to want to use Mary for her money. Um, I feel like this is a man that she's been wanting and that she's been waiting for, but she's going to be private about this male okay and once again i see um new marriage for her either within nine years or or 19 years the so number nine is significant or maybe even uh this new man will come to the public within like the month of september but there's something about the number nine in regards to a new man for her I mean, once again, I do see um, her coming out with new music or just like a different sound or like you're going to tell that like she's just different in a different vibration um, around the fall time. OK, um, let's see what's going on. That's really all I'm really seeing for Mary right now. For some reason, like I'm just in this energy of not saying too much or like just not overdoing it. But yeah, that's what I see with Miss Mary J. Blush. I just see her right now, like, just, you know, protecting herself and just taking care of herself. But, yeah, I feel like she's going to be good. She's going to be fine. But that was what I had for Miss Mary J. Blige. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I shall see you guys next video. Take care. Bye.